is that, Rob? Do you know? Old Tesla video. That's a California special, guys. It's a modern Mustang GT CS out here on the road driving around. I waved to him twice, but he hasn't even looked over to me, so I guess that makes Rob comfortable because I tend to look around a lot when I'm driving. It's a 2012 or 13. Or 14. There you go, guys. California special, modern, spotted on the road trip. I gotta point this out. This is the ugliest Miata I think I have ever seen. Rob and I are shooting video, right? And Rob, Rob's a producer, right? He's one of those producer guys. He tells me what to say, and I go, okay, I'm the parrot. So I just shot a really funny clip because he said, what did you say? Repeat it again. He didn't give us that poor guy grief because <laughs> his car needs a paint job. Yeah. And we've all been there with our cars. And who, some guy can be walking by, drive by going, what an ugly looking pickup truck. Look, you know? Look, it's yeah. It's karma, baby. Right. It's, I mean, karma. it's not karma. It's not karma. People picked on me for three years for the Fashevi, and they still pick on me for the Fashevi, and, and, and I accept it, okay? So I'm sitting there going, and I, I lost this whole clip, this is what we just said, right? <laughs> Damn it! I didn't save the clip, which is very rare, and it was pretty funny. So I'm sitting there going, all right, you're going to have to improv. And he's like, oh, like, like it's so hard for him when he makes everybody else do it. <laughs> anyway, if you've got an ugly Miata, be proud. You've got an ugly Miata. <laughs> right? It's, it's just, it is what it is. It's okay. I've had ugly cars. My Falcon wasn't the prettiest when I was driving around. Very proud as a teenager. And you might have a Mustang that's ugly. But you know what? You got a Mustang. Come to think of it, my 71 that I was actually driving around with primer and that I still needed to work on the quarter panel and I was rumbling around without a hood. I'm sure there's some people in BMWs. I'm sorry, BMW owners. I'm sure there's people in Mercedes. I'm sorry, Mercedes people. But oh, they were... You're apologizing for them, but you get no, no, guy I... with a Miata. <laughs> I you know, All right, I'm sorry, Miata people that are ugly Miatas. But I'm sure if I drove past him, he would look at, from his ugly Miata and go, what an ugly car, what is that? And I loved it. So to each his own. It's a long journey, especially when you're dealing with a lot of traffic, but uh, it looks like our ETA, we're going to be on time. I spoke to Steven on the phone, gave him an update. Uh, he's from Florida, and he's an old California boy, so we were talking about locations. <laughs> but uh, soon we will uh, be upon her and looking at her. All right, so we're getting closer as we tell about our speeding ticket stories. And again, I want to thank... Uh, California Highway Patrol officer that cut me a huge break when I was going to Laguna Seca because again I am very grateful that he let me go with my BMW my motorcycle I was racing with. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you California Highway Patrol. Thank you for being understanding. We are doing a video. Oh look! Say hi. Huh? Isn't that beautiful? This is amazing and this is also soft. Look at the wind. It's amazing. I'm asking Dad for us to all come back so that we can come to the beach. Yay! <laughs> Don't go too far out, girl. It's getting wet. This is what's important, guys. I'm moving. All right, so we got. She's moving. Get out of the water. Let's go, girl. We got here about 45 minutes early, so. We are so close to the beach, I had to take Rachel to it before we go look at the Shelby. So, next clip, guys, you're going to get this, get a glimpse of this car that we've all been waiting for. We are doing a video. Oh, look. Say hi. Huh? Oh, Isn't that beautiful? This is amazing, and this is also soft. Look at the waves. Look at the ocean. It's amazing. I'm asking Dad for us to all come back. So we can come to the beach, yay! <laughs> Don't go too far out, girl. I don't want you getting wet. This is what's important, guys.
All right, so we got, she's moving. Get out of the water. Let's go, girl. We got here about 45 minutes early, so we are so close to the beach, I had to take Rachel to it before we go look at the Shelby. So next clip, guys, you're going get to get a glimpse of this car that we've all been waiting for. This video. All right, Rachel, say let's go. Let's go. Go. We're going to go check her out now. Exciting times. If we can afford it, we're going to do it. We're going to take the risk, and we're going to get ourselves a Shelby. So it's exciting times here at Mustang Medic. Let's check it out. Guys, here we go. We're going to check out this Shelby. If we can afford it, we are going to do it. Big risks at Mustang Medic. All right, here we go, guys. She's a beauty, and she's looking real to me right now. So we're going to go through her, look at all the key points of what's going to make sure that she's accurate. One of the first tests you can do, which is always kind of unique with one of these cars, is a lot of people don't know that the original Shelby GT logos were plastic, and the aftermarket ones are metal. So you actually, a clue that's a real obvious way to do it is just take a magnet and see if it sticks. And it's sticking. So what that means is these are aftermarket icons on here. I'm looking around, I'm gonna to try to look at every detail to authenticate this Shelby GT350 for my client. So a lot of people don't know that the original Shelby GT icons were plastic. The aftermarkets are metal. Why did he want plastic? Making it as light as possible. What you could do is you take a magnet and you go right down here to the icon right here and you see if it sticks and I've got pulling, I've got, I've got pulling going on. What that means is that is a metal icon from the best of my ability to tell with a magnet, which means this is an aftermarket um, uh, icon or, or plate, Shelby plate on here. We're going to authenticate the uh, VIN number. We're going to look at every little piece that we can find, see what's original and what's not original and uh, help out our client figure out how to purchase this car.